The next question in line is a rich text question. Here, your students answer, answer your question with a longer piece of text and they can format it like they want. Ask your question here. My question is, out of all the animals in the world, what's your favorite animal? Write a short story about your favorite animal as the lead character. Use at least five subordinating conjunctions. Mark them in your text and underline them. If you have a school license, you can switch to rich text and you can give some um, nice layout to your question. So let's underline, let's make this short to underline them. And then we can mark this as bold as well. So my students really know that these are the things they have to think about. This is just uh, a question type that is not automatically created because every student is going to submit another story. Of course, there's something you can do about this. First, I can give a rationale. So in this case, I'm going to give automatic feedback to my students if they submit it, and I say they get immediate feedback, they can see the correction, they will see this explanation from the teacher. So in the rationale, I'm going to add what I'm actually expecting from my students to answer. So here I'm going to add the subordinated conjunction so they know that they should have used all these or just five of these in their text. I can go back. Of course, in the rationale, you can add an alt text, uh, an image, and so on. I go back. The next thing I'm going to do is give them a hint. This is also possible in every other uh, question type in book widgets. In this case, I think some of my students just don't know what subordinating conjunctions are uh, or don't remember it. So I'm going to give them a hint. They can click on it and they will see some description appear. Of course, I'm not giving away all the subordinating conjunctions, but I'm explaining what it is. So maybe something might trigger it uh, in, their, uh, in their head and then they know what they have to do and what they have to add in their own story. I go back. Of course, we have the scoring option. So this is a larger, larger type of question. So let's say that this question is on six points. Now on five, of course, because they have to um, add five conjunctions. I'm going to go back. So now my question is ready. So I'm going to take a look at the preview to see how this looks like for my student. So this question allows your students to format their text so they can just start typing text, their answer right here, and then they can mark text, they can put it in bold, they can underline it, they can give it a color, um, yes, like this. They can also format it, so let's say we do it in the middle, so they, they can type here and so on. So this is what they can do. They can also add bullet points, number bullet points or just bullet points, and they can um, in, Add, add these to jump in text. If this is the hint I added so to every single question in book widgets. Uh, if you add a hint, this is what appears. Students just click on show hint and then the hint will appear. Students can read this. This question type is not automatically created, but the hint will give them some help. And of course, if you have uh, if you enable them to see the correction after they submitted their work, they will see the rationale as well, like this, and then they know if they, they did well or not. So if they used some of these, it will be well, uh, it will be good, and otherwise it won't be good at all.